Jack from Tinkercrate here. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own bubble lamp. Let's get started. Lay out the tall wooden piece so that you can see the rectangles etched on it. Stick a piece of white sticky foam onto the top rectangle. Peel the backing off your LED strip and stick it to the long rectangle so that the wires are facing the bottom of the wooden piece. Lay down your wooden base piece so that you can see the etched squares. Stick a piece of black sticky foam onto each square. Flip the base piece over so the sticky foam is on the bottom. Slide the base piece into the notch in the frame. If the base piece feels loose, pull it back out and stick another piece of sticky foam onto it. Attach the snap connector to your 9-volt battery. Bring the LED light strip wires around to the back side of the frame. Connect the black wire from the light strip to the black wire from the battery. Do the same thing for the red wires, and the LEDs should light up. If your LEDs don't light up, check and make sure that the two red wires are connected together and the two black wires are connected together. And make sure that the battery is securely attached to the snap connector. Secure the battery to the back of the frame with a zip tie by threading the zip tie through the holes in the bottom of the frame. Slide the short frame piece into the other notch on the base piece. Push your battery down so it sits flat on the table. Put two long, double-sided pieces of sticky foam on two adjacent sides of your wood block. Press the block up into the corner of the frame to brace it. Before we start the next section, disconnect your battery pack from your LED strip. Okay, this next part can get messy, so we really recommend doing it over a sink or outdoors. And make sure to cover your clothes or wear clothes that you don't mind getting stained. Find the side of your cork stopper with the word OUT written on it. Push that side into the wide end of your cork stopper. Make sure the side of the valve you can see doesn't have the word OUT printed on it. If it does, pull it back out and flip it around. Push the plastic tube onto the other end of your valve. Push down nice and hard to make sure it seals tightly. Carefully pour all of your vegetable oil into the plastic bottle. Squeeze about a third of your liquid watercolor into the bottle. Now you need the cap from your liquid watercolor bottle. Measure out seven capfuls of water and add them to the bottle. Push the cork stopper down into the bottle. Push down hard and make sure that it seals tightly. Hold the bottle over your empty crate and carefully tilt it over and check for leaks. If you see anything dripping, push the cork in the valve back down harder to make sure it has a tight seal. Use the push pin to poke a hole through the top of the plunger. Make sure the hole is kept away from the center. Peel off a sticky foam ring and cover the hole in the middle with a fabric circle. You'll want a grown-up's help with this next step. Turn the bottle upside down and use the push pin to poke a hole in the dimple on the bottom of the bottle. Center the fabric circle and foam donut over the hole with the fabric facing down and stick it on. Slot the plastic tube down through the hole in the frame. Set the bottle down into the hole so it rests on the frame. Use a zip tie to secure the bottle to the top of the frame. Set your lava lamp onto your plastic tray. Push the plunger onto the end of the tube. This can be a little tricky. Make sure it seals tight. Reconnect the wires to turn on the lights. Now it's time to try it out. Hold the pump so your thumb doesn't cover the hole and gently squeeze the pump. Watch the bubbles go. Here's some tips for using your bubble lamp. Always squeeze the pump gently. If you squeeze too hard, oil might leak out the top of the bottle. Leave a little bit of time in between each pump. If you pump too quickly, your lamp will fill up with lots of little bubbles. If you start to see leaks, stop and make sure all of the seals are tight. To change the color of your lamp, slide a film strip between the bottle and the LEDs. If you want, you can also mix and match them to get changing colors. To store your bubble lamp, clip the pump into the notch on the side of the frame, disconnect the battery, and leave it in the tray. Hope you found this video helpful. Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out your magazine for lots of other cool content. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.